thumbs towards the ceiling. Exhale and release. Thank you. <laughs> Inhale. Good. And exhale. Good. You got this. 30 seconds. Good. The body is nice and warm now. Quads are warm. Legs are warm. We getting ready to kick it up a notch. <laughs> good morning. Good morning, family. Good morning. Good morning. Good, good. I'm going to turn to the side so you see what it looks like. I'm on that squat. My thumbs are up. I'm coming all the way, sweeping my arms to the side. Palms are going to face. If you can, palms touch each other at the top. Exhale, swing it all the way down. Again, if you're seated, hands on your thighs, lean forward. If you're dropping, drop it into a squat. Good. Exhale. So your whole body is saying, hey, with that. And I'm saying, hey, with that too. <laughs> Good, drop down, sit back like you're sitting into a chair, arms go forward. Inhale, exhale before you come up. Same breathing, same breathing work. Now we're gonna check our framework. You're gonna check the shoulders, your chest, lean forward, sit back. While you're down there, check the footwork. Where are your feet? Are they underneath your knees? I know. Take your time. Give me three more. You're going to feel your shoulders. You are. Hello to the shoulders. Hello to your chest. Hello to your diaphragm. Hello to your legs. Hello to your hamstrings. Good. How we doing? Oh, one good one more good one. Exhale. Sit all the way back. Can I add a little challenge? Yes. When you come all the way up, bring that right knee up. What? play too much <laughs> drop the right knee swing your arm sit back <laughs> good inhale bring the other knee up how we doing so now you got balance coordination stability exhale if that's just not an option for you and you're like coach Nico absolutely not you can come up put your hands on the waist take your time and then just lift your knee same thing same option just less intense Good, how we doing? That heart rate should be up because we're going to kick it up just a little bit more. We're going to kick it up just a little bit more. Bring that knee up. Again, you can keep your hands on your waist. Absolutely. Are you breathing? Are you smiling? <laughs> how we doing? Hello to the quads. Hello to your shoulders. Hello to your chest. Good. Everything is moving at the same time. We can add calves if we like. Good. Good. Last one. Good. Sit back. Thumbs towards the ceiling as you sit. Good. Again, if your hands are going into the waist, that's okay. Just lift. Just give me one more on each side. I like it. I like it. Good. So let's check back into that breathing. Did you inhale on the way down? Did you exhale on the way up for four counts? Good. Inhale. Good. Exhale. How we do? Last one. Walk it off. Shake it off. You did it. Yep. <laughs> Let's add on to that motion. So we're going to take our arm motion out. We're going to go into that squat. Yes. We're going to bring that knee up. What? And then you're going to step forward into a lunge. <laughs> you're going to step back. <laughs> you're going to sit back. <laughs> then you're going to bring the other knee up. But you got to balance and coordination. Pause at the top, just like with our breathing. And now you exhale, step forward into a lunge. Then you push back. Inhale. Good. Exhale. Ready? All right. Join me. Get all the way up. Bring that right knee up. Pause at the top. One, two. Step it forward into that lunge. <laughs> Push back, sit back. Good, exhale, bring the other knee up. Pause at the top, inhale, exhale, step forward. How'd you do? If you seated, it, you still doing the same thing, sit back. You should feel all the parts of the legs, the core. We can add a little balance challenge to it, but we'll do it at the next one. Are we doing, sit back in the squat. Here's your legs, here's your balance and coordination. Good, here you step forward. Good, back. How we doing? We can add, yes. See how you feel. If you're like, that's not the case, give me a half of a lunge. 
push back, sit back, up. Maybe that's not an option and you stop bringing your knees up. It's okay. Just own it. Just own it. How are we doing? Could you give me 15 seconds of those? Balance, coordination, stability, trust. All the things that you have to do in life, you got to trust yourself. You got to balance life, right? <laughs> you got to balance decisions, right? Yes. After this one, we got to kick it up a little bit more, right? <laughs> good, good. Nice. Finish this one nice and strong. Good. When you come back, meet me to the center. Meet me to the center. Yes. Wide lunge. So I'm facing you so that you can see me. I'm stepping as wide as I possibly can, sitting all the way back. And if you could touch the inside of the big toe, I'll take that. And then you come back. Go back to the same side on the right. Ready? Uh, uh. Let's go for it. Sit back. Touch. Don't rush this motion. Exhale, drop. Good. Inhale, up. Same thing when we started. Exhale, drop. Good. Inhale, up. Don't rush. Don't rush. So you keep going. You have 30 seconds. Let me show you the modification. I'm going halfway. Put my hand on my thigh. And I'm pushing back up. Yes. Hand on my thigh. If this is still not an option, stay high. And then be like, hey, hey. <laughs> you don't have to drop low if you don't need to. Good. If you're like halfway, drop the hand on the thigh, drop your chest down low. If you're like, I'm going all the way and touch the floor, touch it. Last two. Give me one more. Good. One more. Yes. All the way back out. How we do? Let's add a little cardio right here. I'm going to add some ladders. So I'm literally going to put my feet together. I'm going to take them out, bring them in, take them out, bring them in, take them out, and bring them in. And I'm going to speed it up. Ready? All right, we're going. 15 seconds. Three, two, one, and go for it. Yeah, you can choose to go slow. If you're going slow, put a little seasoning on to it. <laughs> You can move up if you like. You can take a break if you like. You can do whatever you choose. Whatever you choose, you just have three more. Two more. Good. One more. Now, please. How are we doing? You got to go to the other side now. <laughs> Here we go. One strong minute. One strong minute. Good, good. So I'm stepping. Hands going on my thigh. And I'm all the way back up. Ready? Let's go for it. Uh-huh. Halfway point. Hand on the thigh. Drop the chest. If you're like, uh-uh-uh, go halfway. Or go all the way down. And drop. Don't shuffle. Don't shuffle. Not yet. Not yet. I need you to focus. I need you to focus. Don't forget to breathe. Where's your breathing? <laughs> good, good. Step and sit back in that heel. How are we doing? How are we doing? Good, good. Perfect, perfect. I'll take it, I'll take it. Last three, last three. Last two, we're going back into that cardio section. Last one. Hit a water break here. If you need it, 15 seconds, we're going for it. On these ladders, you can go forward, you can go back, you can stay low, you can choose because 15 seconds, we're going three, two, one, let's go for it. 15 seconds, you can go forward, good, you can go back, you can stay there, bend your knees, you can add your arms, you can pump your arms. Whatever you choose, you still have five seconds left. Maybe you go a little bit more. <laughs> three, two, one, and freeze. How we do? Yes. 10 seconds recovery, walk it off. Hit a water break if you absolutely need it. We did front of the legs. We did inner thighs. We did back of the legs. Let's do some shoulders.
you're seated. You're just lifting up that one knee and the arms are going to go up. If you're seated, then you put that leg down. Then you bring it up and the arms come. This is your option, hand down. If you seat it, knee right knee up, arms go up, like you're giving your device high five. Then you take it down. Ready? Join me. Yes. Lift it up. Take it down. Hey, hey. Lift it up. <laughs> take it down. There's a focus. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Yes and yes. Exhale up. Good. Inhale down. I got it. I got it. Exhale up. Inhale down, yes. Exhale up. I want you to engage your core. How do you do that? Get a bit of gentle squeeze as you lift. Gentle squeeze. Good. And back. If you're standing, up. Arms are higher. Down. E. It helps if you make sure your brain and footwork is lined straight up. So my foot, my knee, my shoulders. Yep, yep. Guess what? You know I got to add on. <laughs> A little bit more. I'm going to go down and touch the floor. Then I'm going to come on come back up. Touch the floor with both hands. Or your fingertips. That's okay. Knee up. Drop tap. Good. Bring it up. <laughs> Drop tap. I see you. <laughs> Just smile at me when you lose your balance. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. Good. Good. Oh, there's another level to this. You can make it a little bit more advanced and take your arms all the way up like you're going to shoot a basketball. What? Yep, yep, all the way up. Flick the wrist, flick the wrist. What? <laughs> How we doing? How we doing? <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Yes. Yes. 15 seconds left right there. So I took you from that breathing at the beginning to slow that heart rate down. Then I switched it to speed it up. Then I pushed us into the burning heart rate zone to get your heart rate up. And now I'm getting ready to bring it right back down. Yes. How we doing? So I'm dropping and I'm up. I'm dropping and I'm up. Yes. How we doing? How we doing? You just got two left. Come on, give me two. One more, one more. Finish out each side, finish out each side. Yes. And take a break. How'd you do? So if you have weights near you, grab your weights. If you don't, no big deal. If you have a water bottle, grab two water bottles. If you don't, yes. So we're gonna um, finish up with our arms and shoulders. Arms and shoulders. Good, good. So I'll do it without weights first, and then I'll grab you with the weights. So if you got your weights, go ahead and grab them. Make sure your feet are wide as your shoulders. Good, good. Palms in front of the thighs. Engage your core. Inhale up. Exhale out to the side. Take it down. Good. Give me two hammer curls right here. Bring the arms up. Good, now take a break. Bring it all the way up. Thumbs facing each other. Exhale. Good, drop it down. Bring the thumbs to your shoulders two times and just give me a hammer curl. I know. Ready? Good, all the way up. Good, pull your thumbs in. Press out. Oh, I know, I know. I want you to really work on the coordination. Thumbs up to your shoulders two times. Straight arm, go. Turn your thumbs. Open up, drop it down. Thumbs up two times, go. We're gonna change it after this one, it's okay. Straight on, right here, right here, right here. Turn your thumbs in, open it up. Drop it down. <laughs> Bring your thumbs up, give me four this time. Give me three this time. Give me two this time. Here's that change, keep your arms straight. Up, 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 go, turn your thumbs. Out, you take it, take it down. How we doing there? Do it again, give me four. Give me three. Bring your elbows here. Give me two. You got one. Here's the chain. Straight arm. Go. Turn. Press. Stop thinking. Exhale. Your hands and then nose to do. Give your elbows bent. 
Then two more. Good. One more. Here's the change. Straight on, please. Go. Turn thumb. Open up. Drop down. Hammer curl four times. You got it. Three times. <laughs> two times. Good. One time. Straight on. Go. Turn your thumb. Push. Oh. Hello to your arms. Do it again. Do it again. Hammer curl. Yes. Nice. Hello to those arms. Give them straight arms. Straight on right here. Go. Tell your thumb. My thumb is out so that you know what's happening. Drop it down. Hey. Last round. Thumbs come up. Hammer curl. Good. Don't forget to breathe. Doesn't care. If you have weights or not, straight on. Straight on. Take your time. Exhale up. Good. Release. Out. Good. Take it down. How do we do? <laughs> you did that. Let's stay there. Keep those weights or no weights or water bottles. All I want you to do is lean forward, keep your arms straight, and you're just going to press behind you. You are going to give me a few of those right there while Michael, decide, um, Michael decides no. Okay. Good. So you're keeping those arms nice and straight. Good. Leading with the pinky finger. Good. Lean those knees. Hello. Same thing. Now, I want us to tack back into that breathing. Yes, exhale as you press up. Good, inhale as you come down. You should feel those inside of the arm. You know, when you wave, it keeps waving. Or, you know, tricep, they just sign thing. Yes, exhale and press. Bring it in. Press out. Bring it in. Yes, and press. Now, let's work on our breathing. Yes, blow out. Breathe in. Blow out. Press. Breathe out. Bring it in. Press and blow out. Press, blow out. Press. You can still do this with no weights and still achieve the same benefits. Don't forget to breathe whatever you do, but drop your shoulders down from your ears. I see you. You're like this. Drop those shoulders down. <laughs> shoulders behind the ears. Yes. <laughs> Don't forget to breathe. Don't forget to breathe. I know, right? Such a small motion, but don't you feel those arms? Hey, four more. Three more. Don't forget to breathe. Two more. Good. One more. Yes. And stand all the way up. How'd you do? We just hit all our arms just like that. It's like two moves. Drop those weights. Drop the water bottle. Amazing, amazing. Yes. Now, let's stretch it all the way out. E, 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 e. But if you're close to your device, let's drop a one in the chat if you can hear me. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Ooh, give me a two fingers up <laughs> if you're sweating. <laughs> give me a number two in the chat if you're sweating. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So I'm going to show you just on the other half after we did all this movement and worked on flexibility, right? Worked on the mental part. You could totally check back in with your breathing again, and we can slow our breathing down. And do the same thing. So if you're standing, I just want you to find a space and I just want you to kind of pace back and forward. That's it. Keep your eyes open on this one, though. Unless you got it like that. <laughs> Keep your eyes open. Find a spot maybe on your floor or on your wall somewhere. Focus on that. And all you're going to do is maybe take two steps back. I like to do three. And then two or three steps forward. And you're going to sink your breath to that. Yes. So I'm going to exhale, step back. Good. I'm going to inhale. I'm going to exhale. I'm going to inhale. And I'm going to exhale. Same thing. I'm going to inhale. I'm going to exhale. I'm going to inhale. I'm going to exhale. If you're seated, you can do the same thing. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, All I'm trying to take you through is the breathing practice right here. Is that you can totally do this walking. You can totally do this in your office, at work, 
can't break me. I just take control of the environment. And you don't work totally me. take control. I won't lose sleep if you don't yeah. back. But don't well, focus on that breath. Inhale, maybe you rock forward instead of steps. I've been busting out the seams. I don't fit in a box. Cutting people out the picture. Yeah, you might get cropped. And I don't carry dead weight, so you gonna get dropped. Bringing it back to perspective. You got this. So You're just rocking and, and inhaling. If you're seated, you can just breathe. Inhale and step and exhale. Relax your shoulders. Amazing, amazing. Good. Inhale, take that step and exhale. And inhale. And exhale. How are we doing? That allows your sales to reset. How I ever did my life to make you feel better? People try to silence you when they know they ain't on your level. I've been at the point, I don't fight. I just walk away. Rather keep my peace and try to beg somebody else to say, I used to be Amazing. a man to circle save. Your chest naturally float up until your shoulders drop down. I want you to relax your fingers and relax all the muscles in your arms from shoulder to wrist. That's usually where we carry a lot of our good portion of our stress is in our shoulders. You drop your shoulders, relax your arms. Good, good. Relax those legs. Even though you're using your legs, I don't want them tense. I want them flowing. Good. You can stand and rock from right to left. That still works as well. Depends on what I'm doing. Sometimes I rock right to left. So I'm rocking right to left. I'm inhale as I rock. I hold and then I exhale and I rock to the other side. Amazing. Just like we started, this time inhale for five or rock over, inhale in for five counts and exhale in for five counts. One, two, three, four, five, or find what naturally works for you. Maybe for you, it might be three. I just want you to find your rhythm, the rhythm of life. That's the rhythm of life. You're just finding your rhythm, finding how your body and your momentum speaks to you. Don't forget to breathe. We're going to do 10 more seconds of these. Relaxing your shoulders. I know I can see your shoulders kind of drifting up. <laughs> Drop those shoulders. Relax those arms. And if you see that your hands can be right there on those quads. But I just want you to drop your shoulders like into the back pockets. Drop them into your imaginary back pockets. Good. One more good one. This is where your body literally bows to you and say, thank you. You probably felt every weight just drop. Good. On this inhalation, I just want you to inhale and celebrate your efforts. Exhale, reach those arms out and maybe shake a little bit because you know I'm going to shake a little bit. I am. <laughs> I'm going to celebrate just a little bit. However you celebrate, maybe you might clap it up. Maybe you might snap it up. Whatever you choose, celebrate yourself right there. Oh, my goodness. I just want to say you did that. <laughs> you did that. I'm going to open up the floor to you and ask you, how did you feel with that process? I know I see the hearts. Yeah, I see the hearts. How did you feel? Just uh, come off mute. And I can see you. So if you come off mute, I can see you. Um, Abby, you want to go? You can take it away, Abby. <laughs> if you can. Oh, get to okay. Uh, good. I'm. I feel awake because it's eight o'clock here. So I've been in bed <laughs> all morning until I joined the meditation, and then after the, I'm sweating. I don't know if you guys can see. Uh, so I'm ready to kickstart my day. Exactly. Abby, where are you? Tell us where you are. Where state? <laughs> I know I'm always saying, Coach Nico, get a time, a schedule that fits West Coast. I'm from San Jose, California. <laughs> California, y'all. She tapped in. Hello. Come on, somebody. <laughs> Absolutely. We love, love you, Abby. <laughs> What'd you say, Abby? I said, I know you guys could see. I just woke up. I literally got up in the bed. And just... 
But what a way to roll out of bed into meditation, right? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> we celebrate you. We celebrate you, Queen. Have a phenomenal you, Saturday. You too. you too. Anybody else, you don't have to speak, but it's only totally okay with you. <laughs> We got, I can see you. <laughs> That's it. If you can, you could drop it in the chat. I could read it, baby. It's, it's here on the big screen. I could read it. <laughs> so, how do you feel? What did you take away from your meditation? Did you hear anything? Did you feel anything? Did you feel relaxed? You're so welcome. Absolutely. You're so welcome. Every single time you meditate, you can meditate throughout the day, you'll feel something different. Um, a lot of times with us wonderful entrepreneurs who are striving to increase our wealth, you'll get creative ideas within your meditation. You're so welcome. You're so well refreshed. Absolutely refreshed. Oh, man. When I, yeah, <laughs> when I step outside and I walk and I meditate and I walk and I breathe, that is when I do feel refreshed. Absolutely. Oh, I feel refreshed. Thankful. I always start off with that moment of gratitude and thankfulness. Absolutely. Look at y'all. Y'all coming through it. Y'all coming through right here. I see. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Well, on that note, as we end, I always like to drop a nugget of what to eat. I know, I know, I know all the way on the West Coast. <laughs> you might not quite be hungry right now, but you want to at least try to add something in your fuel. Think about your um, vehicle, your car, your temple being a car. Once you get out the bed or you start moving or you meditate or you breathe, breathing work, you want to give it something afterwards. Water with a little bit of lemon in there is amazing. You could do a juice after this with celery and cucumber. You know, just pick your own juice. You don't want my juice. <laughs> That's another good one. Why is that? Because it gives all your cells, all the vitamins and the minerals and nutrients it needs right after a meditation. So think about like putting premium gas in your car, even though you take regular. I know, right? <laughs> You're putting premium gas inside of your car. You're putting premium nutrients right inside your car after you meditate. And that's throughout the day. And so every single time I take my time to breathe, I always have a juice or water with lemon. Or you could do tea and peppermint tea right after your meditation to power your sails and give it a supercharge. If you're just kind of moving around, you can do um, avocado toast. I love easy get bread, avocado toast. You can add some avocado on a piece of toast with some olive oil and just drizzle some everything but bagel, bagel seasoning. It works. Or you can put some onion powder with some sea salt and it still works. What else? Smoothie. Always a go-to, right? Always, always a go-to. Smoothie is a go-to. Here's my smoothie hack right here. Here's my smoothie hack. Share it, share it, share it. Stop overdoing it with the smoothies. All you need is four powerful ingredients, one possible five. Two fruits, one vegetable. You're welcome. So if you're going to do a banana and a strawberry, then you add your vegetable, which could be spinach. There you are. Two fruits, one vegetable. There's your third. Your fourth one, some kind of liquid. It could be coconut milk, rice milk, almond milk. It could be coconut water. It could be water. It could be whatever you choose. Guess what? Add some chia seeds. You're welcome. It gives you the ability to feel full longer, but it also gives you all the omegas that you need. So your brain work so that when you go to work, your brain is fully functioning. So yes, your smoothie, four ingredients, you can add that fifth one, okay? Two fruits, one vegetable, a liquid. I like to add avocado right there instead of water. So it gives it that thickness as a smoothie. Did that help? Type it in the chat if that helped. <laughs> so think about four. If you start adding pineapples, papaya, peaches, you have gone out the ratio. Think about a ratio. Two fruits to one vegetable, that is your ratio. <laughs> Two fruits, one vegetable. Sometimes you buy the frozen fruit and it's all in one. That's fine. Peaches, pineapples, but at the most three fruit, okay? Three fruit, three fruit. It's just too much going, too much sugar going into your body, even though it's good sugar that your body and your brain needs to function, to power you, to move you as you're going through your productive day. So type it in the chat. How many fruits? <laughs> How many vegetables? <laughs> I love it. 
Then you add your liquid, right? You can add whatever liquid you choose, one cup. If you're doing half a cup of liquid, half a cup of ice, that's okay. I'm going to do half a cup of coconut water and I'm going to do uh, half of an avocado with my chia seed. And I see you, Abby. I see you. <laughs> Share that with somebody and then do me a favor. When you do make your smoothie, I want to see your picture. Mm -hmm. Make your smoothie and I want you to post it in the group so we can see what you have in. I'm doing a banana or I have plantain. So I'm doing a plantain today. And um, I think I got some frozen peaches and that's all I got, y'all. That's all I got for today. Because Coach Nico didn't do shopping. But <laughs> have a phenomenal Saturday. Your racial to your smoothie, your avocado toast. Yes, your juice, if you have that available. Or all else fails, water with a little bit of honey. And guess what? The water is best at room temperature. The body absorbs it immediately. If it's cold, the body has to come in and literally cool, bring it back to temperature and then utilize it. So, yes, water, warm preferably, or room temperature. All right. Have an amazing Saturday. I love you guys so, so, so much. See you right back here next Saturday. Breathe on purpose, okay? Breathe on purpose. <laughs>